Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video at the Pharmacist Academy! Woo! So after waiting almost 10 weeks, I finally received my BCOP scores and thank God, hard work pays off and I passed. Now the passing rate for this year's spring exam was 59%, one of the lowest it's been since the exam has been available. Now in this video, I will give you 5 tips to increase your chances of passing this exam on your first try. Make sure to hit the subscribe and like button if it was helpful, it definitely helps me determine which type of videos you guys like. Now also, if you're new on my channel, just know I take suggestions for videos, so feel free to reach out to me if you have some suggestions. Tip number 1. Give yourself at least 3 months to study. Now this is an exam you do not want to cram, and not to mention it's a very expensive exam. So you definitely want to take this once. So you want to give yourself enough time so that you can actually absorb the information so that you can use it in your practice after. Because the exam is not the only point here. If you're going to be spending a lot of time to prepare for this exam, at least try to understand the information and also give yourself enough time to study so that you can also remember going forward. Tip number two. All you need for studying is the ASHP ACCP review chapters. Now, they probably have recommendations on like books that you could use. All you literally need is these review chapters. It's a little expensive to actually get it, but it's totally worth it. It's very organized. It's easy to understand. The way they outline the information will allow you to grasp a lot. Tip number three. Do not sleep on the non-clinical information. Now, I'm referring to the practice management chapter. This is something that caught me off guard. Now, I think it's because I reviewed it last minute. So, majority of us will probably go straight to the clinical chapters. But I'm telling you, you probably want to start with this chapter and then review it as you get closer to the exam. Do not underestimate this chapter. Majority of the questions came from the non-clinical information. Tip number four. Do not waste a lot of time on medication doses. You will drive yourself crazy if you try to remember all the doses that you're going to see while studying for this exam. It's so many. Don't drive yourself crazy. Do not waste too much time on the medication doses. I'm not saying that I didn't have any dosing questions. But it's just the amount of time that you dedicate into learning doses compared to the number of questions you get on the exam is not worth it. So you may look at the doses, but just don't spend too much time on it trying to remember every single medication dose. Tip number five. You must know these topics here. Oncology practice management, as I had mentioned earlier, breast cancer, lung cancer is huge. You must know lung cancer in and out they asked me a lot of questions from this chapter gyn malignancies and biostats i'm sure you guys have heard about the biostats yes they do ask a lot of questions on this and this is just easy points that you could get right so make sure you know biostats is not that bad that will be the end of this video if this video was helpful make sure to like comment subscribe and share the video with somebody who could benefit from this. I shared with you everything that I learned from preparing and also taking this exam. And I hope that you guys will utilize at least one of them while you're preparing for this exam. Make sure to connect with me on these social media platforms. Thank you for watching this video and take care.